of literary uh, achievement. Um, I became familiar with both of these ladies uh, on Facebook, which I recently joined. They are the Facebook Queens. And uh, you get more uh, messages from them, but they have a group called, uh, uh, what is it, Live Ladies in the Literature? Correct. All right. Introduce yourselves. Good morning, everybody. My name is Adrienne Young. I'm an educator of 14 years with DPS and the author of Dear Day Living in the Children's Teen Monologue Series. I am also a uh, par partner of the Last Day of Literature with okay. my literary partner, Tracy Christian. Okay. And some of the stuff you write about um, is related to what? I write nonfiction and Tracy writes Fiction. Yeah, the Black College Sabbatical, yes. Winter Quarter. Yes, I can just imagine what that's about. Right. Um, <laughs> they didn't take a break from nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, it's the Urban Trilogy book series okay. of Dr. Sheffield that uh, chronicles four girls their first year at Historically Black College. Okay. So Winter Quarter, which is the edition you're looking at now, that is the current edition I saw. The first edition is Fall Quarter, okay. and then Spring Quarter will be out later on this year. And I know you guys are always having seminars. And Absolutely. Let us encourage right. anyone interested in attending our forum. We have a bi-monthly forum at BB uh, Coffee on Woodward every other month. It's called Coffee Arts and Entertainment, and it's a free event. And Tracy and I believe in pulling up. We want to market our books and our literary services and our endeavors, but we want to pull uh, individuals up. So every other month, the next even is February 21st, we encourage authors, songwriters, poets, what else should I see? Oh, illustrators, General. graphic artists, filmmakers, anyone who is interested in bringing or speaking about projects going on in the artist community in the city of Detroit. We want to uplift and bring everyone together, let, let people know that the talent didn't leave Detroit with most of Exactly. So that event is February 21st. We are Does all... Does it cost anything to No, it's no. free and open Let me just public. pause for a moment and give a commercial break. This is Reverend Roy Sheffield on WGPR 107.5. We're here at my sister's and me. We've got all kinds of great things for the work of the Detroit Pistons tickets, black dress certificates, hot stamps, silver fox, case, all kinds of wonderful things. We'll be here well past 10. i got to get my man. Come here, my brother. Sit at the table and talk about your business. I'm going to have some time in the last half an hour, if everything goes well, uh, to be able to highlight anybody here who's got some kind of business. Long business, legitimate business, ain't the kind of business that you got to put a you know, cape or a curtain in front of. Mm. All right. Now go ahead and tell us more about how people can reach you and be a part of what you're doing. Absolutely. Well, like you said, Reverend Sheffield, on Facebook, Tracy and I are on there on a regular basis. We promote and um, market on Facebook. If you market it the correct way, it's awesome. Right. Um, February 21st at Bigby Coffee, uh, we will have our next uh, forum. We have authors, we have poets, and we basically just expose people for free. Um, and the goal of ours is to expose people positively. Right. So if people don't know or aren't aware of that certain artist, as we pull ourselves up, it's important that we're pulling other people up as well. We also want to talk about our Women's Month event. And we are auditioning. We are looking for five beautiful women to play five characters. We will be auditioning uh, January 30th. It's beautiful in terms of who's assessed. Uh, beauty is is All right, we'll make sure we don't talk about, <laughs> talk about the same thing. Okay. Are you talking about beauty that other folks uh, can see or beauty that people think they have themselves? Uh, Come on, you write us help me. Oh, oh. we're All speaking right. about both. Inward and outward. Inward, Inward and, and outward. And that's the name of the show. It's funny that you said it's beautiful called from the... Beautiful spirit. Yeah, exactly. It's called from the outside looking in. So, How about that? Yeah. It's How, do people, long show. How do people reach you guys? Um, Tracy may be reached at 313 dot com. And Adra can be reached at 313-729-2573. And www.arganel, A-R-D-A-N-N-Y-L dot me. Now what are they both you do? See Richard Welch. Raise your hand, Richard. Richard Welch, sure. raise your hand. Sure. Anybody here that's a small black business in the city of Detroit or in the metropolitan area, you need to join IRA. We're supporting them. We're going to be doing a major campaign on radio TV, supporting with commercials all the things that you guys do, okay? Oh. I just give them a big hand. Come by some of their books. Uh, before we go to commercial, I want to say thank you to Tracy.
before this break, I want to talk to the president of our student uh, council, Detroit Cares Alternative Academy. That way, we acknowledge Brother Otis Mathis, who is. Uh, are you president of the school board? Two yeah. weeks now. All right, two weeks now, huh? Well, that's a long time in Detroit. <laughs> you know, if you make it two days.